Why do you think I was doing when the idea came to me? What do you think I was doing the whole day? Almost so. It's still writing the script. Hi, I'm Katie, your little sunshine. And yep, I'm on a hype. Because it's a vibe. It's a big test tomorrow and all our friends decided to fail an honor of reporters that helps dolphins to get an education. And you can't just abandon studying. And once you know something, you can't just pretend to not know it. Because it's lying and it's bad. I would just genuinely wanna relax. Well, whatever your reason, I will try to help you. Procrastination breaks into two categories. Productive and non-productive. Non-productive is about being lazy and enjoying your life. For example, watching TV, playing games, reading a book, going to a park slash party with friends. Productive is about keeping your mind busy by doing different work. Here can be examples from the previous category because it's only about your goal for a particular thing or what is productive for you. For example, watching TV to learn a second language or going to a party with friends to socialize because you want to read just like me and haven't seen 99% of them in months. Just don't lie to yourself about what's productive and what's not. You're allowed to have fun. I've heard someone even can clean the house for fun just because they like it. Floors to create patterns. Even better if the new pattern was created before previous was closed. In simple words, it's jumping from one thing to another. To be good at this, you'll need to learn to find similarities. Even the little ones are great. Especially the little ones are great. For example, you've been reading an article and suddenly pops up a grocery store ad. You decide it would be nice to eat a fruit, an apple. You go to the kitchen, pass by the window and see how it's beautiful outside. And now you want to go for a walk. When you were in the park, you saw a friend. Man, we live so close to each other, we we'll never hang out together. And you both decide to see a movie. And this view of thought could lead you anywhere. Second rule, make things look bigger than they really are. Seeing things like that too hard will make you not like it. Let's take what may look easy to you, eating. Hmm, what should I make for dinner? I would really like to dye mac and cheese. But I don't have cheese. Even though it's beautiful outside, it's very really cold. And it will take so much time if I'll decide to go to a store. Because I would want to buy stuff I don't need and will spend almost the whole day there. But I really want a mac and cheese. Fine, I'll go out. But I don't know what to wear. I don't feel like heels today and my favorite sneakers is today from the last time. Well, you got the point. And sort of. That is the most important one. Enjoy what you're doing. Choose activities what you really like. That way, your chance is bigger to spend my time with, and it's always healthy to be happy. Do you think you're done? Nah, -uh. not so fast. I thought you liked it, fake fan. You can spend at least two more hours on the details. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what I create, don't be shy. Please subscribe. Bye. I'm finally done. I'm finally done. I'm finally done. I'm finally done. What is finally done? What is finally done? Do you know what is finally done? I don't know too.